Welcome to this tutorial on how to load Spitfire audio libraries in Pro Tools using dedicated plugins and contact. Spitfire Audio offers a wide range of virtual instruments and orchestral libraries, and in this tutorial, we'll talk you through the process of loading these up in Pro Tools. Please first ensure that Pro Tools is installed and authorized, that you have your chosen Spitfire Audio library installed on your system, and you have either the free contact player or the paid full contact installed as required. Let's get started. First step, open Pro Tools on your computer. Please ensure that you have the latest version of Pro Tools installed for the best compatibility with Spitfire Audio libraries. Create a new Pro Tools session or open an existing one where you want to use Spitfire Audio libraries. To load Spitfire Audio libraries, you'll need to create an instrument track. Go to Track, then New to create a new track. In the New Tracks dialog box, select Stereo, and then choose Instrument from the Track Type drop-down menu. For Spitfire Audio libraries that are hosted on a dedicated plugin, like Labs or BBC Symphony Orchestra, follow these steps. In either the Mix view or the Edit view, if you have enabled inserts on the track views here, Click on a slot in Inserts A to E. Select the Multi-Channel Plugin option. In the Plugin Browser, locate and select the Spitfire Audio plugin for your library, either under Instrument, or if you have the plugins also sorted by Vendor, under Spitfire Audio or SA Recordings, depending on the library. For Spitfire Audio libraries that require Contact Player, follow these steps. Ensure that you have Contact Player installed on your system, you can download it from the Native Instruments website otherwise. In either the Mix view or the Edit view, if you have enabled inserts on the track views here, click on a slot in Inserts A to E. Select the Multi-Channel Plugin option. In the Plugin Browser, locate and select the Contact Plugin version you have installed, either under Instrument, or if you have the plugins also sorted by vendor, under Native Instruments. Then, if loading a contact player instrument, you can load from the library pane using the original view or via the tiles view in Contact 7. If using a contact full library, go back to the original view and click on Files to navigate manually to your install location and load the NKI. In either case, once selected and loaded, the instrument will appear in Contact's interface. Adjust settings and configure MIDI input here as needed. To check you are triggering the correct Spitfire audio instrument, you'll need to ensure that your MIDI controller and track are routed to the right instrument. Add instruments in either the Edit window here or the Mix window in View, Mix window views, Instruments, and check the setup here at the beginning or top of the track. With your Spitfire Audio library loaded and MIDI inputs configured, you're now ready to start composing or playing your virtual instruments in Pro Tools. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast, or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question, and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks, and exclusive Spitfire content.